everyone. My name is Christy and welcome to day 869 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out the product that I am most excited about from my June 2020 BoxyCharm Premium Box. This is from Too Faced. It's the Coco Contour. It's Cocoa Infused Contouring and Highlighting Palette. So I just finally got my BoxyCharm Premium Box in the mail and I did my unboxing video, of course. So I'll have that video linked in the description down below if you wanna see all of the products I got in my Premium Box. But I just love Too Faced and I love makeup products the most and I did not get all makeup products. I only got half makeup products in my Premium Box this month, so this is my favorite product because it's from a favorite brand and a favorite type of product. Okay, so let's start off admiring the packaging. It's so beautiful. That's one of my favorite things about Too Faced is they always have the cutest packaging. And so this retails for $44. That's pretty pricey to me. But so here is what it looks like. It looks like chocolate bars the product here and then you got this big mirror and it smells like chocolate it smells exactly like hot cocoa mix delicious i might end up having to have some hot chocolate tonight <laughs> it has three highlights on top it's a light highlight medium highlight and deep highlight they look matte I kind of wish that they were shimmery. And then you've got the light contour, medium contour, and deep contour. And these also look matte. But I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them just so I can really know what they look like. First impression, they're not super buttery. They definitely feel kind of dry and powdery. Yeah. Very matte. Those did not swatch very nicely. They look kind of patchy. When I was looking this up on the Sephora website, it did not have the best ratings, but I'm hoping I'll still be able to make it work for me and that I'll still like it. And not very pigmented at all. And that's from finger swatches. Like you can barely see these swatches. So here's how that looks. My personal preference is that I just prefer shimmery highlighters. I like the way it creates a glow and reflects the light on my skin. And I feel like that just does a really great job of enhancing the features, bringing them forward like you try and do when highlighting. But I'll still try these highlighters out Maybe I could end up using them, you know, as like a base shade on my eyelid after setting them to kind of cancel out the discoloration, maybe even as like a setting powder on top of concealer. And also since these bronzers are not super pigmented, I thought that I'd only be able to use the light contour, but I may be able to dip into the other shades as well. So another product I got in my BoxyCharm Premium Box is this Sculpt and Highlight Brush from the brand Billion Dollar Brows. This is a $30 brush, which is very expensive in my opinion for a brush. So really excited to see how this works. I will start out by picking up the lightest contour shade. And I'm just gonna go in with a light hand to start, even though I know it's not super pigmented. Want to start out light. I'm liking it. I'm really liking this brush and I'm liking this contour shade so far. <laughs> Going in with my third layer to build it up. Now I'm not really using a light hand at all. That's subtle, but for my very fair skin tone, it kind of works. When I think about contouring, I 
think about wanting it to look like a shadow. And I feel like this shade does that. See how it just kind of looks like there's more of a shadow on this cheek versus this cheek. It's very subtle though. So I am gonna go ahead and pick up the medium contour shade. And let's see how that is. Yeah, I like that shade. I think that it blends out really nicely and easily, especially with this brush. Seems to be really blending beautifully. I think that's what I need to do, is a mix of the light contour and the medium contour to get my preferred contour shade. So I'm gonna mix the two and go ahead and contour the other cheek. I feel like that creates a nice neutral brown shade that is giving the illusion of the shadow to add that contour. Okay, and then I like to contour pretty much all over my face. So picking up the two shades again, I'm going to now apply it along the forehead. I like how it's looking on the skin. It's blending nicely and it looks smooth. It looks matte, but it doesn't look drying at all. I feel like that did a good job of contouring and warming up the forehead. And then I like to take some underneath the jawline. And lastly, I'll do a little bit on the sides of my nose, under my nose. I feel like I did not go in with a light hand and it still came out pretty subtle. I also really like to put a matte brown shade into my crease. I feel like that really helps to enhance the eye look even without any other eyeshadow on. So I'm gonna take a crease brush and dip it into the medium contour shade and apply that into the crease of my eyes. Yeah, this medium contour shade is a great shade for this. For my hooded eyes, I just love the effect that that does. It's a subtle difference, this eye with it versus this eye without it, but I feel like it just gives more depth and emphasis to the eye. All right, so now my whole face, even my eyes are contoured. All right, so something that I like to do for my contour, since I I just apply my contour. I don't get a perfect line when I apply it. Maybe after a lot of practice, I would get there, but this palette, I realized, actually has a sneaky way of making your contour look the perfect shape, and that is to pick up one of the matte light shades. So I'm gonna pick up the light highlight shade, and I'm just going to use a pointy sponge, and I'm going to cut my contour in the exact angle of my face that I want to follow. And so I just take the light powder to create that perfect shape to my contour. And it is a pretty harsh line when I do that, so I'm just lightly going to 
diffuse the line a little bit so it's not so sharp and obvious. But you see how that made this part lighter. Then you've got the contour in that perfect shape. So I'll go ahead and do that to the other side. So that's a really good way to use those matte highlight shades. You could also just use a setting powder, translucent powder to cut your contour into the perfect shape. And now I'll go ahead and pick up the lightest highlight shade on the smaller end of my brush and kind of highlight down the nose. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't really see the point of a matte highlight on the high points of my face. It's real, I'm using the lightest shade and it's really not showing up or, or doing anything. So my use for the light highlight shade is going to be to cut the contour, but I also want to go ahead and pick some up on my finger and see if this cancels out this coloration on my eyelid. Hmm. I am thinking that it's not quite pigmented and opaque enough to do much. It kind of evens out. My eyelid discoloration a little bit, <laughs> but barely, barely. I wish they had put just one shimmery highlight in here. But as far as contouring goes, I really like this. I think this worked out great for contouring. The two deeper shades, I probably won't really get much use out of unless I was using them in an eyeshadow look, which I do reach for orange and browns for eyeshadow looks quite a bit. But I really like the contour cut with the highlight for that really nice sculpted look. And it's just so pleasant applying the product when I'm getting those whiffs of chocolate. So I was a little apprehensive about this after the swatches and seeing that didn't have the best ratings, but I am happy with it. I'm happy with my finished contouring and it really was easy and quick to do with the products that come in this palette here. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.